Hey guys, welcome back to John Junkies. Today we are getting loaded up to do something that I've been wanting to do for a little while. Uh, we are having a glamping excursion. <laughs> um, yes, so we are actually staying in a pit house this weekend. Um, and I'm seeing Jesse load all this stuff up and I'm thinking, I really appreciate our trailer because we have to take bedding, cooking supplies, we have no water, very, very limited power. <laughs> so we have to all these things that we're planning for and all this stuff we have to take with us. So anyways, continuing on guys. made it. We are at Fremont State Park here in central Utah. It's a little bit windy and we're here at the house. So let's go check it out. We haven't went in yet. Beautiful surroundings. The cliffs, tons of petroglyphs, all sorts of stuff. So reserved for Vincent. Good deal. That's us. Have our own picnic table area which is going to be really nice just to have so much open space to ourselves. Fire pit. We don't have any wood. We might be complete yuppies and go buy wood. I've never bought wood to burn, but maybe. We have to go to lockbox. <laughs> we are after 6 p.m. by a few minutes. So we need to call this number and they'll give us the code. Well, let's grab the phone. <laughs> the question is, if we have any service. That would be really crappy to get out here and not be able to call. Two nights. All right, they'll let us in. Okay. Okay, awesome, thank you. You too, bye. Better type that in our notes here. So here we are in our recreated pit house. This is our little home away from home. It's a little simple, but we knew that going into it. We've got a little fireplace, faux fireplace, I should say. Keep us warm tonight. Because it's going to get a little cold. It will get a little chilly. There is a thermostat on here showing 62-ish. No, I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> Don't know if that shows up. Oh, there you go. We're below 60. Yeah, so it's not warm in here right now. <laughs> no, not by any means, but uh, the days are getting warmer. So that'll help. A little bit of warmth during the day feeding in. Which it has a nice skylight here. Yeah. That's so we can let some air in during nice. the day. Nice, a little extra light. Then it has a bunch of beds, right? <laughs> A bunch of beds, so you've got three on top and two on the bottom if you need the extra sleeping space. So you could fit a family in here pretty oh, easily. Oh, yeah, you could. Even one of us, or one of these Utah families. <laughs> yeah, beds aren't bad. they got a big old topper, I think, on it, so that's nice. Yeah, well, I guess it's time to get loaded, unloaded, right? Yeah, the fun now begins.
Kara should know better than this. She went and gathered up a bunch of sagebrush to burn, but even worse, in her white shoes in that she took so much time to, to make all pretty. <laughs> and now they are just brown and filthy. And they do not reflect dirt, so I've been digging dirt out of my toes. <laughs> Camping rookie mistake. You know better. <laughs> I do. <laughs> it's not like it's your first rodeo here. It's Come on. Nah. <laughs> oh. But we have a lot of sagebrush to not burn now. Yeah. Because that will just, yeah, not, not go well. Well, my grandpa would be upset with me for spending money on wood to burn, but is what it is. Luckily, it was only $5 and kind of honor system. So just take an armful for five bucks. We'll see if we can get this thing going. Those are some serious Boy Scout skills there, Jess. I know, I, I'm quite the Boy Scout. Usually I have some bug spray or something. So here we are on day, I guess, technically two. <laughs> Uh, we made it through the night in our nice little cozy bed. Uh, very nice mattresses. Uh, there we kept nice and warm between our sleeping bags and the heater that was provided. So it was very nice. No freezing here. Uh, we've got breakfast out of the way. Jesse's got had an 18 mile run. Uh, so now we're ready to get going and see what this area has to offer. We are going to go hit up the uh, museum visitor center, get a map of the area, and go do some sightseeing. There is a lot of uh, petroglyphs, pictographs, and just other historical sites in this area. Petroglyphs everywhere, or pictographs, or yeah, petroglyphs. These are carved in. I think they said there was only nine uh, petroglyphs. No, petro. Paint. Yeah, the ones that are painted nine and carved. Painted. In Utah that they know of. Yeah. And what did they say? Eight of them were here? Yeah. At yeah, this park. Well, we've seen one down at uh, Bluff. Was it painted in? I don't know carved? if it was carved, I think it was just painted. Because that's a pictograph, there's lots of those. So you should see them a lot better. Might have to come back tonight. Yeah. I guess this way, huh, Kara? As far as I know. There we go. Finally got Kara a new backpack. Way better. And by we, I mean her. She bought it for me and it was the wrong size. Yeah, this one's not fitting you. <laughs> if you're looking for a good pack though, these ones are awesome. I don't know how to pronounce the brand. Oxitus, Oxitus. People probably make fun of my Utah accent on this one. Oxitus. Awesome though, great packs. Lightweight, durable. I've used mine for heck, 10 years now. How many miles? Oh, thousands of miles, <laughs> so yeah. So we are coming to the end of our evening here on I guess day two for us. Yeah, it's been pretty cool. Today we went and saw some real pit houses, 
lots of petroglyphs and artifacts and all that sort of stuff. If you get a chance to come to Fremont State Park here in Utah, I'd highly recommend it. I'd never been here. I've been teaching about the Fremont for years, <laughs> and I thought now it's time to kind of practice what I preach and get out and see this stuff. It was well worth it. Nice RV park. Uh, the pit house has been awesome. I don't know if you've been glamping before, but it is pretty dang cool. It is cool. Not only have we seen pit houses before, but there are also uh, covered wagons that we're seeing. Uh, teepees. Canvas tents. Yes. Train, train cars. Yeah, yeah, train cars. Uh, just various different places and experience to go and stay. Comment down below if you've ever went glamping before and what you stayed in and what did you think of it. We've enjoyed it, even though we'd prefer our RV because we have it. But for those that don't have an RV, this is a really good option. It's better than staying on the ground in a tent. So yes. uh, you show up, the beds are already there. It's good to go. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch. Make sure you hit that bell, like, subscribe, all those sort of things, comment below. It really helps out the channel. And above all else, enjoy your weekend.